Hello guys, welcome back to Adventure Stress Club. Today we are going to discuss about cloud enum. So cloud enumeration. So, so what is a cloud enum? Cloud enum is a like a multi-cloud OC net tool which enumerates a publicly resource in AWS, in uh, Azure and Google Cloud platform. So these are currently enumerate like a, in the AWS like it will open directories like a S3 buckets and AWS apps like work mail, work document, connect and etc etc things. So once we go to the Microsoft Azure, so it will take the storage accounts, open blob uh, storage containers and hosted databases and virtual machines and web apps. So once come to the Google Cloud uh, engine platform. So in the Google Cloud Engine platform, it open protected GCP buckets, open protected Firebase real-time databases, Google App Engine sites, cloud functions like enumerates the projects, regions with existing functions and their breadth forces, actual function names and everything. And also check like a Firebase where uh, if you launch like something like WhatsApp and everything, they link to a Firebase or not to get the earnings some some apps is like this so they link to a firebase also so first of all we would like to uh, open terminal we will look how it will be done so we just open uh, deploy and paste the repository cloud enum so i already cloned the repository so i just go Cloud enum. So I just type a list and I install the requirements. Once you have installed the requirements, so now here, so you just type Python 3 cloud enum dot Python. Yeah, now it's game. So we need to define the objectives. Like clearly we define the objectives of your multi-cloud OSINET tool, which determines what information you want to gather from AWS and Azure and Google Cloud Platform. And what purpose, like a security assessment, compliance check, and competitive analysis. Otherwise you want to get them some more information like this. So, and second one, cloud provider of APIs. So each cloud provider offers an API to access the information about their resource. You will need to find underground of the interact with the these APIs of examples. Like if you go with AWS, so AWS like AWS management con console, where which will give AWS CLI and AWS SDKs and everything. So once we come to a Azure, Azure will give Azure portal, Azure client, Azure SDKs. Once we come to a, another platform, Google Cloud, Google Cloud also will, will provide like a Google Cloud console, Google Cloud client, Google Cloud SDK. So, once we come to authorizations and uh, uh, authentications, so you will need to proper credentials like access key and secret key for this. Okay, so to access those things. So, but if you don't have access key and secret key, you can you cannot able to access those things. And data collections. So the data collections is like you just see the data and uh, you try to look over there. That's it with uh, some of APIs. So we will see this one. Aggregation and analysis. We will see in the this one and user interface, but you not get here. We are just getting the information what else is available in the cloud. That's it. We can only get the uh, you, uh, uh, aggregation and uh, analysis with the database. What database is available in the cloud? That's it. And querying a search. 
and security and privacy and reporting alerts and continuous updates so if if i am a linux uh, kali linux uh, owner or a developer if i upload into a cloud so it will give you automatic upload with this tool so for this you need to do you need to type help so once you get help so i want to do a keyword with a search okay so i just type k kali linux so it will start for enumerating so let's say uh, something else uh, you are going to be searching with a, some targeted of your company other, otherwise you are a penetration tester or a SOC analyst or something else just you are you can consider and you are got a target to reach that one so if you got the target to reach that one some company whose website with some company name dot io or dot com or dot in or etc that makes a product called blockchain hook key you can count on the two like you can give like a uh, let me tell you so you just open a new tab like a, you just type cd cd cloud cloud enum so now python 3 cloud enum dot python so we give as a keyword keyword is like uh, i want to get the keyword like tryhackme.com no try hack me okay and the targeted company is tryhackme.com and again i will give target is i just give only here like a uh, AWS so it will get the only the try hack me that one okay uh, so what else is available so you can see try hack me s3 amazon.aws so you just open the link here. so you just copy them just open the link So even you can see here, so you just paste it, so but you can only get the a source script, you can see error but access is denied because you required a secret access key, access id and secret access id, that's it, so you can access those things okay and now i just i will show you the better example so this so this will take a bit longer time to come back okay so i just close this one this also so i just did so you can see here kali linux keyword the kali linux keyword it's coming the kali linux 3 keyword s3 buckets and azure what they store the data and the bullet ports they applied and this also investigate there is any many of this so register azure virtual machines in dns with kali linux ea status cloud app so in the google like you get like a uh, storage where they store with their google apis with the kali linux that's also enumerated so you try it your own guys this this conclude the how to demonstration of cloud enum thank you guys for watching have a great day